Hey guys, how's it going? You made it back in time for the next episode. Last one, we just got through the tutorial and opening introductions to all the team and whatnot. And now we're ready to just go into Tomb Tower and hopefully get to the 3D part of the game. I'm hoping that's in this session. But for now, we're just climbing the tower. Who knows how long this will take. Oh, door is sealed. And we got that green, that cool green ore again. Whoa, booming bolts. Very metal. Oh, okay. yeah. I just don't like how it doesn't tell you that they're done talking. It just, you just gotta start moving. Ah, uh, the strange electricity was spawning monsters. And my strength, oh, okay, that was an attack. And I'm sitting at three HP, two HP. Actually, what's gonna happen if I get a game over too? Wow, okay, heart heals you for like three. I thought it was just one piece. Oh, found a little heart. Good thing I got the upgrade too. Okay, you can't even touch him. So, throw. Roll! Whoo! It looked like they, like, they rolled perfectly because it kind of, like, stopped the, stopped the attack and everything. Jump! I probably don't need to stop for every single enemy I see. And again, I hate how you have to, there's a jump button, but you don't use it to jump when you need to. You do get cash from kills. I guess not all the time though. Yeah, okay. It's not always, but sometimes. So, does it fly to you? No, you have to go up to it. Okay. There's a little bit of magnet to it, but not full screen. Hello, young adventurers! Are you on your way to Tomb Tower? Yep, that's where we're heading. Thrash isn't even looking in the right direction. Ah, uh, best beware! Dark Wizard occupies the tower. His magic is causing pandemonium. I mean, look at this lovely bridge. Unmitigatedly obliterated. Oh yeah, wrecked. Is there another way across the waters? Thrash was... N okay, uh, that's probably the right way. First, let me check the wrong way. Nothing, okay. A little bit of cash. Nothing behind, no, okay. Okay, into the secret cave. A cave entrance, promising. Grab the cash, there we go. And real gloomy, dig the acoustics though. Lead on, job my dude. Your plucky glow will light the way. Isn't Violet a wizard though? Can't she? Or a witch in training? Can't she make some light? Oh, okay, it's a switch. We got Goombas. Goomba stomp it. There we go. Oh, I could have comboed. I'm gonna keep Goomba stomping the Goombas just in case there is a. Can I go down? No. Just in case there's an achievement for stomping X amount. Oh, I get okay. Switch open this path. Not gonna Goomba stomp those guys. Those they clearly have some fire on top. I make this jump. Nope. That might be an exit, maybe. Any secret? Okay, we got secrets. Just explore the impassable cave. I could have Goomba stomped him, and that one. Come on! There we go. Oh! Come on, how was I supposed to know he was there? Grab the heart, okay. I'm assuming this is gonna lead me to a, uh... One of the scrolls, the art pieces. I'm gonna assume this is the right way, I'm gonna take the wrong way. Okay, never mind. I wanna go back, I wanna go down though. I want to fully explore the cave. Nope. Okay. That's it. But yeah, so far the game just reminds me of Hilda. Like, that's all I'm seeing. Like, the faces, the eyes, just the no- like, everything about people in this game. We made it! 
Will you look at that? We crossed the river. On we go. First we find cash. Any bit of cash helps. There's no da there's no dash attack. I'm trying to like sl roll into attack with nothing. Maybe later. Meet again. I'm gonna take a look at my current selection. What do you got? Sword throw upgrade, art scroll. I'll just always grab the scrolls. Gotta get that achievement. What do we got? Oh, I missed one. Some early concepting of game environments, an enchanted place. Okay. It looks like I missed one. I'm temp. I'm. It's gotta be in the cave. How far back have I gone? I've started this, fought an enemy. I, it's gotta be in here. Like a, one secret edge somewhere. What about this wall? Can't break it? No. If it's not here, like, I can't reach it then, because I would have to go back to the first area. And I jumped down, so I can't go back further than this. I could be wrong, it's just further in. But I'll do a quick little look around again, just to be safe. Doesn't look like it. Unless there's a secret here? No, okay. Okay, that's it. I'll find it eventually. It might be further up, and this shop is just a little early. I really doubt it though. Oh, maybe it's in here. Whoa there, all these books, really eerie. Pretty cool visual though. I guess we can't interact with the books. Interact with the trees, that's about it. Okay, keep moving. These books had been purposely stacked. Big blocks of books. Oh, there's one. Maybe this is the one I need. Please be the one I need. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Candyland. Some early concepting of game environments. Looks delicious. As far as there isn't a Candyland in this. Okay, so I've missed one thing already. Not a great start to this session. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, just kill it. <laughs> it seems the hearts just kind of spawn when you need them to. There's mini beard. Stack books are a real roadblock. If the books were scattered, you would have a way through. Thank you, mini beard. Any words here? No. I'm assuming enemies once I kill the- yep, okay. Probably gonna use my sword orang here. Especially if it's the big ones. I'm also worried like if there's New Game Plus or if I can actually go back and check for missed items. Okay, it's down. Okay. Pick it up. Oh, you can still jump, but you can't roll. Okay. We're in. Pages were scattered on the ground. Just throw it in. We are in! Oh, wait, what's this say? Nothing. Just jump it. Uh, can I move these? No. I can make that jump. 
Oh, wait. I'm guessing this is gonna make a platform, and I have to push it. There we go. Okay. Gotta hold it and push. Again, the pushing of blocks is so smooth in this. Push it in. There! And the other two will just come after all the work's done, of course. Ah, uh, that wretched fool Jot, he will get away- get what he deserves. Uh... Yeah, that's a bit creepy. That dreaded plucky squire. Time is near. We're still not even in the tower. It's a happy Loch Ness monster. So this is where it all kicks off. Historical location and no mistake. Uh... Run! Well, hello and goodbye, I guess. No idea who that was. So much oddness around these parts. Anyway, here we are. Home tower. Looks like Humgrub is still up all there on the roof. Time for the plucky squire to go take care of that creep. We'll just watch. Ah, uh, we'll stay down here, dude. We don't want to cramp your style. This is one of those dramatic heroic kind of moments, you know? During your big showdown, you don't want us to two darks the us two dorks mooching around in the background. Nope, we'll mooch down here instead, but we'll be cheering you on all the way. Moochin' cheerin', Jot, that's more our style. Go get that chump. First I collect some cash. Uh, maybe not. Nope, nothing. I'm not gonna wish you luck, you don't need it. You're the plucky squire. Go on, Jot, you've got this in the bag. Humpy Grump- Humpy- Humpy Grumpy is all- is about to fall on his wall. Fall- Wait, what did he say? Humpy Grumpy is about to fall off- of his wall? Fall off his wall, I think it's what it's meant to say. Jot made his way up the steep steps. We made it! Ah. The plucky, plucky squire. I've been waiting for you, so glad to see you made it for, to Tomb Tower! You might be wondering what Hump Grump is doing here. Well, I had a hunch grump. I had a hunch grump I might find something interesting in this old tower. And something interesting I did indeed find. A book. It's in a way in a very secret chamber, because this is a very special book. The title of this very special book is... The Plucky Squire. Yes, that's right. This book is all about you and me and all who live in this dreaded land. It is the story of our lives. Turns out, you see, that our land is, of Mojo is just a setting in a storybook. I believe, I assure you, it's true. What I'm holding here is a copy of that storybook. A book within the book, if you will. I read the book. It's very interesting. You and that witch girl venturing through the land, meeting up with the mountain troll, making your way here to meet me. In fact, I read ahead to this very chapter. I've seen what happens next. We fight here on the roof and guess any guesses who how that turns out. That's some good coloring for the green and purple. Game over. You win, as you always do. You know, this book is one of those one of the series, and in each one of those books you win. Every single stinking time. As you are the plucky squire, the hero of this story, the boy who can do no wrong. Always victorious, even the little stories you write, beloved by all. Curating like a mosquito in my cardigan, yes, that is an adequate metaphor. Me, I'm the villain, the talentless wizard who can do no right, destined to be beaten forever. At least that is how it has been up until now, but maybe it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe even Hump Grum could get a little glory for once if... The plucky squire were to be plucked from the book. If he were to be ejected. He's using lift from Golden Sun! There we go. We made it to 3D Realm.
Oh, we just start playing? Okay. I got jump. I got nothing on the shoulder buttons. I can't attack. I can't roll. There's a lunchbox. Is that triple jump? What was that? What? Two. two no, nothing. Okay. Let's see. Where are we going? Just follow the arrows. There's that beetle. Beetle, cockroach, something like that. How far are we walking here? The plucky squire. Oh, hello. There's someone out there. Actually, before I go that way, is there any... You can't even roll, okay. Can I make a paint trail? No. This is such an open area, I'm wondering if I miss anything. Like, I followed that arrow kind of immediately. The creepy music's good for this part. Oh, I see something over there. Some kind of, it might be that beetle, actually. We got carrots, we got grapes. Can I make the jump over? No. Did I explore enough in the first area? I wish I could roll, just make this a little faster instead of walking. Yeah, can I- Oh, can I fall off? Oh, you can! You get an achievement for it! Optimistic Explorer, okay. I didn't know if you'd die or not. Actually, I didn't do anything. Didn't even- Didn't even affect my health. Can I push this jawbreaker? Is it a jawbreaker? Okay, open the lunchbox. Would you be so kind as to open the lid of this lunchbox? Grab. Push. Pull. We got grapes! We got carrots! You remember me, Jot. We met in your book. I'm not actually from there, you know. Us bookworms travel around a fair bit from book to book. You, Jod, are a character from a book and shouldn't really be out here. It's some grump's magic that blasted you out of the page and onto this desk, isn't it? We'll have to get you back into your book, Jot. It is of the utmost par paramountcy. In other words, very important. You know, there are some intriguing items on this desk. Some of them might help you return. Head around the corner to the left and we'll try and find one. Can I eat the app? Can I eat the carrots? Oh. Well, you can throw. It's very like Z Zelda, 2D Zelda style where it's like pick up, toss, that's it. Oh, what I get? Okay. Can we give the beetle? Is that a beetle? Oh, can we help the beetle? Is it a dead beetle? Can we lift it? No. Nothing else to do? Okay. Wait until I get a sword or anything. Hello there again. You see that magical swirly green thing? That's a metamagic portal. That is, it seems to allow travel between different worlds. Most characters cannot travel through these portals or pass between realms. But Jot, you already made that leap once. Maybe you can do it again. Try jumping through the portal, young squire. You have to hold it? Okay. Remarkable. Some of the metamagic must have rubbed off on you, Jot. Like me, it seems you now have the power to leap between worlds. Now, this world here is a sketch that was drawn by the occupant of this room. The owner of your storybook, Jot, a young boy named Sam. He's a very creative child. You'll find his sketches all over the desk. Since you can jump into them, maybe you can use them to get around. Still can't fight? 
Can't roll. Low energy. Too hungry to move. Too hungry to converse. Please get me a snack. Okay. Let me... Oh, poor Bunford over there. He looks famished. No nourishment to be found in the sketch. Maybe there's something out there on the desk. You know, maybe you can bring items between worlds. It's worth a shot. Okay. Let me get the grape. He, uh, well, let, he's a rabbit. Let's assume carrot. Alright, you have to hold it. Exceptional. You really can bring items between realms. This may be handy. It's still a 3D... Well, I guess that makes sense. Delicious. Carrot boost, energy levels restored. Oh, am I in your way? Sorry about that. Here, let me sco scooch. Okay. Now what? Bounce on the mushroom? No. Okay. Just keep going. I'm free! Anything else I can do here? Any secrets? Oh! Unless this is the right way? Oh, I guess, yeah. I guess it's the right way. Oh, should I push it the other way, maybe? Looks like there's a secret over there. Oh, it's a dead end, maybe. Oh, nooks and crannies for nothing around here. Okay, I guess just start the next one. Luckily, it's fast. Like, you hold it, you jump in, you're good to go. There's no, like, cinematic for all of it or something. Good going, young squire. I believe that the item that can help you get back to your world is further ahead. But listen, on your way, you may run into a creepy, crawly... Coliptra. Colia Petra? Beetles! Sam likes to keep them as pets, you see. Oh, I thought they were... The first one was a roach! Beware, Jot! Don't get eaten! Simply wouldn't do. Okay. Uh, anything else I can do? Can't get up there, okay. Should be behind? Nothing. There's no secrets yet, okay. No, it's all- it's just blocking me off everywhere. I'm assuming we're looking for that sword, like the pen quill. Hold O or R2 to move without making a sound. Whoa, okay! I thought I was in the starting area. What? I thought I was already sneaking. Okay. I'm just sneak across. I'm assuming it's up here? Yep, okay. Like, it's telling me to sneak, but then it's telling me to press a different button to sneak. I was confused there. Anything else I can do here? We got dominoes. Pick up. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be a real roll. Can I? Oh, I got a six. Okay. Can I knock him over? Oh. It looks like you can. Wrong. Oh, wait, no. That is the right way. Okay. So on this side. Ta da. Oh, uh, what do we got? Anything to look at here? We got by Tony Tungsten. 
From the sides, nothing. Okay. Guess I'm good. Or not. Oh. Oh, bring the dice. Okay. Wherever that dice went. There it is. And then place it down. Yep. Now that dice became pixelate. Like it came art compared to that carrot. The carrot was photograph as soon as it came out. Okay, let's not fall into the den. Unless there's secrets down there. And I fell into the den. Great. Okay, infinite lives. There we go. Jump on the paint, shoot it out. Uh, I guess we're just trying to get to the emblem. Make a run for it, probably. I was hoping for like a art piece there. <laughs> Made it. He almost got me. There. Yeah, there hasn't been any art collectibles around here. Dot! You made it. My fears have been allayed. Seems that, that nothing can hinder the plucky squire. On that very note, while you are here, there is something that you really must observe. These sketches of you, quite a remarkable likeness, I must attest. The person who drew all this is called Sam. He is the boy who lives in this room and is the owner of your storybook. As you might be able to tell, he is very fond of you and your adventures. I'm glad that you got to see this, Jot, to see how much you mean to him. You can draw a good moonbeard, but there is no time to dwell on that. The request to re-enter the book is near its pinnacle. The item you need is just beyond this sketchbook. Press on. Anything to collect around here? Oh. We need another dice. Probably for a platform. Is there a way to knock... Oh, I guess you'd need the dice to knock it over. Okay. I don't want to go over there yet. I want to see if there's anything I can check for. Can I go over here? Nope. Anything at all? No? Okay. That's it. Too bad you can't roll just to get around a little faster. Maybe later once I have a weapon and whatnot. Anything else around? We got a big pair of scissors. Nothing. We have to go. Com yeah, we have to go completely around. More stealth. Uh. How far is he gonna keep walking down? Okay. Oh, come on, I was over the... Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just... Oh, that was fast. Okay, I thought it was like he could only cover that area. Oh, okay. It made it anyways.
feel like there's a secret over there. Oh. Okay. That's where we're going. What about this other path, though? Like, is this guy guarding something? Uh oh. Run! Okay. Uh, is there anything over there? I'm worried that I'm missing stuff. But this could just be a tutorial area where there's just nothing to worry about yet. Okay. Probably get the sword. Aw, oh, only got a two. Keep going. Ooh, the power glove. Jack got the turn gauntlets. Now he has the power to manipulate his storybook. Press L2, R2, we're next to the book to open it up. I thought we were gonna get a sword. You got the gauntlets. Exceptional power procurement. Procure, procurement. Head back to your book, post haste. I think you'll find that the gauntlets will help you return home. One last thing before you leave this table, Jot. It is very important. Beware of Humpgrump. He wishes to take over your book. You have to stop that from happening. Not just for the sake of the citizens of your book, but for all the children who will read and be inspired by your book. Same as one of those children, Jot. You know, us bookworms were able to glimpse the past, present, and even the future. I've seen that Sam will one day grow up to be a writer and il illustrator himself. It will create a series of very popular children's books. With very lucrative merchandise tie-ins and brand integrations. Sam's books will go on to inspire many other children. That is, if he ever actually writes them. Uh, if Hum Grump takes control of your book, the story will get worse. Books with bad stories get put away on the shelf. No one reads them anymore. Those books lose all of their life and cease being an inspiration to anyone. Your book will no longer inspire Sam, and then... Who knows what path he will take. You let that happen, Jot. Return now and stop Humgrump. Oh, I'm pretty close to my book. Anything else to do around here? No? I'm assuming this Sam kid's like 8, 10? There's a little bit of everything on this desk. Manipulate. Let's try L2. Nothing. Oh, L2 and R2. Use the power gloves. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay. Okay. I think that's a good place to end. Next session, we'll jump back into the book and see what the next chapter is. And I didn't get a weapon. I thought I would here, but I got to the 3D world. That's what I wanted most of all. So I'll see you guys next episode. And hopefully next one, we'll start going bounce between dimensions with a weapon and start hacking slashing our way to victory.